Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm still filming my alkali metal project, but I decided to take a quick break to show you a new static electricity generator build. I recently stumbled across a teardown video of these USB ionizers, which are only about $2 on eBay. After looking at the components, I realized they could be used as a super cheap static generator with just a little modification. I start by prying open the case, which takes very little effort, and we can now get a look at what's inside. My electronics knowledge is pretty basic, but what I believe is going on here is the first half of this board is converting the DC power from the USB into AC, which is then fed through a chain of voltage multipliers. These not only step up the voltage, but also convert the output current back to DC, feeding a positive charge into the output wire at the end. The first step to my conversion is to remove the USB port, starting by prying off the tabs that secure it to the board. I then use my soldering iron to release the electrical connections. On the opposite side, the board is marked to indicate which terminal is the positive connection and which is the ground. I insert a red wire into the hole made for the positive connection and solder it in place. For the ground, I do the same thing but with a black wire. Now switching to the far side, I desolder the short output wire so I can reattach my own. I'd just like it to be a few inches longer. There are still a few steps before I attach my battery supply, but in the meantime I strip a short section from the ground wire which will come into use later. I used some hot glue to secure the wires so that pulling on them would place less strain on the solder joints. Many different things could be used to encase the board, but I'll be using this large piece of shrink wrap tubing. Gently heating it over my torch brings it down to a nice form fit. The ends don't completely close, so the remaining area around the wires is sealed with hot glue. There is a power indicator light which has now been covered. I'd like to be able to see it, so I trimmed the casing away in that area. This device was originally made to run on 5 volts from a USB power supply, which I can approximate with 3 button cell batteries at 1.5 volts each. I'll stack them between my two input wires, and to make that a bit easier, the exposed section of my ground is folded over and soldered into a protrusion that will contact the negative terminal on my stack of batteries. A bit of electrical tape binds the stack together, and the indicator light shows that everything is working. There's no on-off switch in this build, because buying one would just about double the price. So instead I'll use a small shim cut from a plastic cup to break the connection between batteries when it's not in use. My build is now complete, and it can be used just like my previous versions to charge your body with static electricity. The output wire simply needs to be pressed against your skin and the ground wire attached to the bottom of your shoe so it makes connection with the surface you're standing on. Touching anything conductive will give it a shock. Of course it can also do all the cool tricks that my old versions could, such as making sand go into a dust storm. The charge can also bend streams of water, and also zap electronics, so don't do this with your phone in your pocket. If you have a few minutes, you should check out another YouTube channel, Jacko Whatever. I've been following his channel for some time now. He makes some awesome projects in his workshop and films them in a really cinematic way. If you like my videos, I think you'll like his as well. You can check them out by clicking the annotation on screen or the channel link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this quick project. Stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching.